Hey folks, Jarek here, welcome to Amberscape and today I am at the sand quarry to look for fossils and the place is huge and gorgeous so let's explore it and see if we can find anything. First I want to explore these smaller rocks, it, it is washed out after the rain so there could be some fossils uh, on the top, very top. And yeah, later on we will go deeper where the water is. And the thing about the quarries in Lithuania is we can find here basically anything for very different periods of time. Uh, fossils like from Silurian, Ordovician, Devonian, Jurassic, Triassic and everything in between. Basically a mix uh, rock salad of uh, sedimentary rocks from the last ice age. And yeah, let's see if we have some luck today. Down there there's a rock which we need, the very center. This is the sedimentary rock which could contain fossils and it's huge. So we will have to go around into this road to move down and check it up. We are at the destination, it's somewhere, somewhere here. There it is, big boy. The crack of all the middle. Yes, this one we will take out and destroy. So now it's an inspection time if there's anything from the top, but I don't see anything. Either way, we will destroy every single bit of it, maybe there's something. Big shell, and there's something that looks like fossil, but at this point I'm not sure, we will try to excavate it further to see if there's anything. Maybe it's gastropod, I'm not sure. It is indeed a gastropod, it was at least, but it, it is inner shell and very little detail. We'll take it, maybe we'll clean it a bit, I'm not sure. <laughs> not the coolest. When we left the graveyard again, there was nothing interesting. Preservation was terrible. Well, this was a gastropod once. Yeah, but it did broke a bit. So. Not taking that other than that. There was some brachiopods and bivalves and trial, trilobite pieces, so nothing interesting. I didn't take anything because preservation was terrible of every fossil except for brachiopods. But the brachiopods was one side and then they have a bunch of this. So yeah, we will move on to look for other rocks to split. Not super exciting, but first piece of coral egg shaped. Heliolites, I think. Quite interesting, maybe acid will make it more pronounced, you know, all the structures. Yeah, I will keep this one egg shape. For sure this was the root here. And another fossil. Terrible fossilization, but this is chain coral, my favorite one, but it's crumbling in my hands. Terrible fossilization. Yep, it's crumbling, Crum crumbling. 
one more rock. All these holes are from the gastropods and there's some still inside. Like this one, there's still a small one inside. And I saw another one somewhere. This one, bigger one inside. I'm not sure if I will take it, maybe I will. And we will take to take some out of this concretion. Black beauty. Concretion is interesting, but the spider is resting on it, so I'm not gonna destroy it and disturb this arachnid. Let's find another rock. Like two hours later, there is one rock. <laughs> and there is very interesting imprint. <laughs> what does it look like? I will give you a hint because Besides this rock, there was this rock, and that's the top of it. And what we have here is the head of the trilobite. <laughs> most, likely, most likely it's complete trilobite. Well, maybe not, maybe it's just the head, who knows. This is the best find of the day. Now, we will pray, prep this piece today. Like in this video, it, it's gonna be prepped. And we will see if it's complete or, or not. If it's complete, uh, the first still bite, but who found it? It wasn't me. Mr. Zidrunas B, hello. <laughs> he found it and he let me have it because I traveled to his city uh, over 100 kilometers. It wasn't a long ride, but yeah, he's a kind person and he let me have this head. So now we will pack it really carefully and maybe we'll split the rest of this rock a little bit later because... After getting the identification from my Polish friends Jakub and Lukas, I already know that this trilobite won't be complete. This is Glebola of the Ordovician trilobite called Konolichas. And looking at the complete trilobite, we see that the eyes of our specimen is missing already. And what we have here is only Globella, the top of the head and most likely an exuvia. Trilobites were molting their exoskeletons, and that's why we are most often finding only pieces of the tri trilobite, and not the complete specimens. So it's time to break this rock in a half, not much. Let's see if there's anything. That's enough, <laughs> more than enough. Pieces of trilobites. Crinoid I also. What the fuck is this? I have no idea what this is. Looks interesting, but this other side is the ass of the trilobite. We can judge it from this side. And just pieces of trilobites. Hopefully that head is complete head. I'm not sure, should I break the more of this rock? These agate-like round patterns are called bikite rings. It's mineralization of microcrystalline quartz on top of some sort of shell looks very unusual and quite impressive, if only the specimen would be a little bit bigger. Here are some examples of bikite rings on other fossils. There's more pieces of trilobites inside. I think this is wing, or like a wing, like a fin from a trilobite, but I'm not sure. I will ask some opinions on this one. Looks quite cool. I think I will keep this one. This fang-like fossil was indeed a piece of another Ordovician trilobite called Chasmops, and it was this spike-like structure that was attached to the cheeks of the trilobite. There was nothing else in the quarry. I'm heading back to my city, Vilnius, and yeah, before going home I will visit one, one more spot because I've had not enough fossils today. Uh, we will visit Magic River. I haven't visited this river in this year yet, so I did do hope for some nice coral pieces because my best chain corals came from that river and for now I'm obsessed with these corals to get more of them into my collection, they look really nice on prep. But the issue is, 
I don't have uh, the boots to be in the water. So the either the, the water will be low, this uh, super tiny river, or I won't be able to visit it. So yeah. This is it. This is Magic River. Let's see if it will be kind for me today. The water is not very high. I think I will manage. Worst case scenario, my boots will get wet. Let's go. I almost forgot how beautiful this place is in the spring and we found first piece of coral and it is a sun coral otherwise known as Sertinula patterns are not very pronounced but it's not bad I don't have many sun corals in my collection so I will take this one <laughs> spongy look cool A little bit of obstacles ahead, but not an issue. Yeah, the Magic River disappointed. Only one piece, not of a great specimen. I mean, the sun corals are lovely, but this one wasn't the best there is. I mean, it wasn't very pronounced, the texture and so on. So, the hunt is over, I'm guessing. Now, we will go home and we will check if that trilobite is complete. So, that will bring my mood up, if it is. <laughs> Let's go. This was not the most eventful hunt. I did bring home only few rocks with the fossils and these fossils are not in the best shape, but considering they are over 400 million years old, it's okay. I won't be prepping this head of the trilobite, I already know it won't be complete in there, so no point risking damaging the globella. I have got spoiled a little bit by my last hunts in Poland and red clay sand quarry, where I was getting amazing complete specimens home. So now these few rocks excite me a bit less, but I'm still determined to find good spots to hunt for fossils in Lithuania. And yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, like and subscribe to the channel for more paleo content. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.